All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on What the Sheet. And in today's episode, this is going to be the first in a long series of the Torque Test Tuesdays. So, um, going over the kind of general setup here, what I got I got a quarter inch um, thick by four inches wide by a foot long strip of uh, sheet metal. And I put some lag screws here on the bottom to secure it to this two by four. And then I got some half inch bolts with. Um, washers on both sides that way I'm not um, you know running the risk of clamping this to the steel and I can get everything broke loose um, let's see tools that I'm going to be using so I have a 30 inch breaker bar and I think it's like a foot long or 14 inch breaker bar both half inch drive I have an AC Delco torque meter that goes from 25 pounds to 250 pounds and I can set it to where it'll light up on the sides here for a set uh, for certain torque settings. Um, we got some socket adapters, some half inch socket adapters. I got three of them. I got one in the impact gun for our first tool that we're going to try out today. And then just a regular uh, three quarter inch impact socket to actually drive the, the nuts. And then I'll use the wrench on the other side to hold the backside tight because I don't have a welder to actually tack weld any of the bolts to the sheet of steel quite yet. Um, I will be wearing my IsoTunes for some hearing protection. These are good for, I think it's 28 decibels of sound reduction, which is pretty good for just some little AirPod style um, hearing protection. And then I'll also be spraying some WD-40 uh, dry lube on all the bolts before the test. Um, that way they don't get bound up and then these are the bolts themselves are grade 8 let's see what they so they're grade 8 hex bolts um, half inch diameter by inch and a half inch long or yeah one and a half inches long um, and that's what the bolts and the, the nuts are and then the washes are just regular zinc uh, flat washes for a half inch size uh, diameter hole there so what I'm going to do is I'll put my three quarter inch drive on the right angle impact. We'll do all five bolts for tightening for five seconds. So as soon as it starts impacting, I'll count to five, stop, move on to the next one and go all the way down the line. And then once those are done, I'll come back through with the torque meter and I'll set it up to peak torque. So every time I loosen a bolt, it'll give me my peak torque rating and then I'll write it down and then throw it on the video screen here and I'll probably do inch pounds. Um, I'll read off inch pounds and then I'll put inch pounds and the foot pound torque on the screen for you guys. And then once we do that, we'll come back through and we'll, I'll retorque these probably starting off at about 25 foot pounds and then going up to 35, 45, 55, 65. And we'll see how well that can break those loose. And then if it can get up to 65, we'll, We'll keep stepping it up until you know it can't do it anymore. I don't think this is going to be able to go too far because it says it's only got 900 foot pounds of torque or inch pounds of torque. Um, I think that's breakaway. So if you divide that by 12, it gets you down to like I think it's like 70 mm -hmm. ish foot pounds of torque somewhere in there. So we'll see if it can actually do that, um, especially with an adapter on. But I'll get you guys set up and we'll start. First bolt, tightening torque, and here we go. All right, peak torque. And then we'll do the same thing, we'll keep the wrench on. Four forty seven. That one was six thirty one. Four 
412. Four seventy four and the last one six forty seven. Okay, so a little inconsistent, but not the end of the world. So now we'll go to foot pounds and we want to start at twenty five. So all I'm doing is I'm coming through on here and I'm using these arrow buttons and I'm going to go all the way down to 25 foot pounds. And then once I get there, I'll set it and then I'll move them up 10 foot pounds at a time through all the bolts, like I said before. So now we're going to do the breakaway torque. So like I said, these are all set. Uh, this one's set at 25 foot pounds, 35, 45, 55, 65. And if we could break away 65, we'll come back through and we'll torque this one at 75, 85, 95, and 105 if we get to that point. All right, no problem on that one. Now we're at 55 foot pounds. That one came free. So I have a feeling that it might do 65. We'll find out here. And I'm only gonna hold it, let it impact for five seconds, and then I'll I'll shut it down because after five seconds, if you're still can't break it free, then you need to get a bigger tool or a wrench or something like that. Alright. Looks like we got a Step up for So actually, quick update. We're gonna do so since this one was last one was 65, we'll do 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. Um, just because that last one it went uh, kinda hard. So I don't think we're gonna get too far past that. So we'll just go through and we'll adjust it as such.
All right, so one more time. This one's at 75 foot-pounds, 80, 85, 90, 95 at the end here. Uh, my guess is we'll just barely break this one, and we won't break this one for in five seconds. break 75 and 80 not 90 uh, which is kind of what I expected so I think with that being said that this if my math in my head is correct which is probably not that this means this slightly outperformed its stated torque ratings but then again I don't know what they're using to test for their torque rating so it might be they might be using a smaller fastener or larger fastener or what have you. But for my uh, little setup here, it did 80, 80 foot pounds, not 85. Um, so like I said, I'll, I'll put all the information for torque ratings for inch pounds and foot pounds and all that stuff on the screen here. And keep in mind that with the inch pounds for tightening, uh, when I'm loosening that off, I'm going to multiply that by 0.8 or divide that by 0.8 to give you the actual fastening torque of this because when you loosen it, it's a little bit easier than tightening. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But like I said, I'll have all that on the screen uh, at that part of the video. And then, um, yeah, so this did pretty good. I'm actually really surprised at how much this could break away. So um, I do believe this is actually more powerful than the Milwaukee... 3 8 ratchet and their quarter inch ratchet or their right angle ratchets, what I mean. So in theory, um, even the Milwaukee uh, right angle impact, you could probably just get an adapter for it and use that instead. Um, granted, that's going to make it the tool itself a little bit uh, longer. So you're not going to get that nice compact size because uh, like it's, if you have that 3 8 ratchet here, you know, your whole tool is this versus that adding that little adapter, it makes it a little bit longer. But if you want that extra torque, um, adding that adapter almost doubles the amount of power that you're getting out of the, one of these versus the ratchets. And you're getting kind of the same functionality with it. Um, but that's going to conclude today's video. Um, stick around for Friday's video because it'll be uh, actual tool fight with this, the, my other scale 12 volt ratchet or impact the my Milwaukee impact and the Master Force uh, 20 volt impact that'll be out on Friday and then next week we'll do my um, my other skill uh, 12 volt impact gun standard impact do the same test with that one we'll see how that one does and then the week after that we'll do the Milwaukee 12 volt but that's all I got for you guys I'll catch you in the next one peace